Hey guys, Tim here back at Spoonman Creations. Going to be cutting a couple of clutches today. We got clutch number two, clutch number three. Um, clutch number two was a multi gene male, uh, four genes to a two gene female, just to kind of see what combinations we get. Um, the other one is trying to prove out a male that is pastel gravel slash yellow belly. So he was bred to a leopard yellow belly. So we'll see if we get ivories or if we get some highways out of that one. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, this will be clutches two and three here at Spoonman Creations. So stick around and let's see what we get. All right, so the first one we're gonna cut is actually clutch number three. I'm gonna cut clutch two and three, but this is a smaller one, so I figured I'd do it first. Um, this was a pastel Anchi female to a banana pastel pinstripe Mojave male. Um, basically, you put them together just to, to have five different genes and see what I could get out of the combo. Um, she laid seven eggs, had a couple of slugs, and then had some eggs that went bad uh, during incubation. So we ended up with two, but let's see what we got. All right, so we got one that pipped. This is day 54. So let's see, it looks like light colored. A small egg and it is packed in there. Oh, hello. So it looks like banana pinstripe. I believe we'll be able to tell more when it comes out but we have pastel enchi banana pin and mojave so definitely pinstripe and looks like banana so we'll see once they shed out so that's first egg only two eggs so this egg is a little bit bigger So it looks like we got banana in this one too. Maybe Mojave pinstripe? Maybe banana Mojave pinstripe? Um, a lot of genes at play there. So yeah, we'll let them get out of the egg and uh, let them shed the first time. We'll take a look and see what they are. So that is clutch number three. Again, we only had two eggs. So that's what we got. Alright, so the second one we're going to cut is actually clutch number two. Um, this is a leopard yellow belly female to the male who is a pastel gravel or yellow belly. So what we're looking for here is if it turns out to be gravel then we should have some highways. Um, if it's yellow belly then we should have some, uh, some ivories. So let's start here. And see what we got. I can feel it moving around in there. All right, so egg number one is a normal, could be a yellow belly. We do have leopard yellow belly on the female side and then gravel slash yellow belly on the male side, so. Um, could be a gravel, yellow belly, or normal. So we'll see what comes out of the rest of them. I nicked a vein there, but. All right, egg number two. No uh, indication of what that male is yet. We're trying to prove out that male, whether it's gravel or yellow belly. So egg number two looks like all white. So looks like that male is yellow belly and not gravel. Can't tell if I see pattern in there or not, but 
yeah definitely all white so looks like an ivory so most likely the male is pastel yellow belly and she is leopard yellow belly so we could have leopard and pastel in there also whoa making a mess All right, egg number three. Looks like another ivory. And I do see some, some markings on there. So probably a pastel ivory looks like but oh man almost looks like a highway too though weird probably pastel ivory I'm guessing but we'll see when they come out of the egg wow, really making a mess mm -hmm. So that one looks like it might have leopard. I don't see yellow belly, but definitely it could be leopard. Again, looks like a normal, but could very well be leopard. Kind of a kind of a crazy pattern there on the side. So I'm thinking leopard on that one. Haven't seen any pastel. normal looking maybe yellow belly maybe leopard let's see when it comes out So two ivories so far and four that basically look like normals could be yellow belly. I don't think we've had a pastel yet. Looks like another ivory. Definitely ivory. Hard to tell. Maybe pastel ivory. Looks like it might have a little back stripe there, but definitely ivory. All right, so last one, egg number eight. And that might be, might be pastel leopard. Definitely pastel. Got some crazy patterns, so that might be a pastel leopard. Got some nice uh, fading on the back there. So it looks like the only pastel of the bunch. Ugh. Let me turn them. All right, so it looks like probably pastel yellow belly, maybe leopard, ivory, maybe a normal, maybe a normal. 
I think that's probably a pastel ivory. You got the kind of yellow across the back. Another, it looks like a normal, normal, and another ivory. And that one also may be a pastel ivory, but we'll see when they crawl out of the egg and shed. So that is it, clutches two and three. So nothing too groundbreaking, but decent clutches anyway. Um, the multi-gene, we both got banana in them, so that's cool. Um, looks like they're both banana uh, pinstripe, maybe with Mojave in one of them. But uh, cool snakes, so we'll see what they look like when they come out. Um, the other one obviously proved out to be not gravel and yellow belly because we had three ivories, so... That's okay, I think at least two of them are pastel ivories, so I like those and they sell well, so not a bad deal there. And the rest of them we'll see when they come out if they're yellow belly or not. Um, but uh, yeah, not bad overall. We got some cool clutches coming up. Um, clutch number four is going to be an all pied clutch. So that is my big pied girl that was to a banana anchi pied. So they're all going to be pieds. We're going to have banana pieds, anchi pieds, and uh, banana anchi pieds. So that'll be cool. So that'll be coming up in probably about a week. I think it was eight days behind the other one when it was laid. So stick around for that. We should be back in about a week with another egg cutting. Um, if these are all out of the egg and we can identify them, we'll probably do an update on clutches two and three first. And then when the other, when clutch four is ready, we'll go ahead and do a, a cutting of that one so stick around for those got a lot coming up got some other girls that are getting ready to lay soon so it looks like our season is going to be stretched out a little bit um, we're going to have probably clutches being born into September October so uh, that's cool too it kind of spreads out our, our babies so we don't have them all at once so yeah stick around check out my upcoming videos take care of yourselves take care of your families and we'll see you in the next video Hey guys, Tim here, Spoonman Creations, back with an egg cutting for you. Um, we're going to be cutting egg eggs. All right, so not a huge uh, land land breaking. All right, so not a ground baking crutch. All right, so not groundbreaking crutch.